Hey, how you doing? David Dow here from Epic Guitar Instruction. Hope all's going well. Hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. Have a really fun song today. You're going to learn how to play I Will Survive. We're going to do it in a cake version. And we're going to strip it down for one solo acoustic guitar because, you know, that's what we do a lot here at Epic Guitar Instruction. We strip songs down and arrange them for one guitar. So if it's just you playing, hanging out on the porch or jamming with a couple friends or playing at the beach that, you know, we can cop the feel and vibe of the song. This one's a real easy one. There's only seven chords, uh, two bar chords, but I'm going to show you a way where if you're not up to bar chords yet, you could just use power chords so you could still play this one. And this was originally done, I believe, in 1977, Gloria Gaynor tune, which Cake covered and put their own spin on it, you know. And, man, they're such a fun band. I'll tell you, um, they just have kind of been such a conglomerate of so many musical styles that they've kind of churned into all their influences into, into their band Cake. And it's really unique. I mean, they've taken like, you know, those cool funky bass lines and, you know, rock guitar combined with mariachi and jazz and country and kind of loungy type music, right? And hip hop. And they've, you know, all with those deadpan vocals with those we uh, very witty lyrics, you know, um, <laughs> just biting sarcasm. And this song especially, everybody knows it. And most people even know the words. Even if they don't think they know the words, they probably know the words. So if you just break out playing this at a party or on the beat, people will start singing it. And it is so much fun. You know, you have to laugh because their, their lyrics are just so witty. It's just that smirky satire, you know? I mean, fingernails that shine like justice. Uh, who says that, right? I mean, it's funny. What was that one line? Um, we meet at Citibank when she borrows my pen. Uh, she's, she's, she's changing her name from Kitty to Karen. Uh, she's trading in her MG for a white Chrysler LeBaron. <laughs> Who says that? Before we get going, do me a favor, please subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribing to the channel, that really helps us to keep bringing the content. And also, we'll alert you then when we have a new video posted. Um, if you like the video, please like it, give it a thumbs up, share it, and leave a comment below. Let us know what song lessons you'd like to see. Let us know, you know, how your guitar journey is going. Leave a comment below, and thank you so much for your support. And as far as the song structure, it's the same progression through the whole song. So once you learn this progression in this version, you're going to learn the whole song. So it's like verses, choruses, it's all the same. So it's, it's very easy once you get the hang of the chord changes and the strum pattern, right? But let me show you the chords first. There's only seven of them. You're going to need an A minor, and they're going to appear in this order. So this is the order of them also. A minor. D minor. G. C, F. Now, if you can't play that F bar chord, just do the top, uh, the bottom three strings and play like an F fifth power chord. And after F, it goes to B bar chord, second fret, A string root. And if you can't play that chord, just play the B of fifth power chord. Right? And E. That's all the chords in the whole song. And the strum pattern. I'm going to give you a strum pattern that you'll cop the feel. And then like with all the strum and rhythmic patterns that I do in the lessons, you know, I'm just giving you a bass line to cop the feel. Certainly once you get it, experiment with other strum patterns. Try different rhythmic patterns, putting your own spin on it, combine strumming and arpeggiating the notes, you know, do your own thing and enjoy it. But here's a pattern that'll kind of give you the flavor, the cop the feel. Um, let me play it a few times and I'll break it down for you. Okay, sometimes with complex patterns, it works really easy if you kind of break them up into separate patterns and then, then combine them. So for this one, and I'm just holding the strings, um, not fingering any chords. So think of it as the first three down strokes, down, 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 right? And then we're going to add to that a down, up, up. So it's almost like four downs, but think of it like, try it like this first. So that second part is down, up, up. So if you put one and two together, you get down, 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 up, up. Right? Down, 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 up, up. And then the last part, straight eighth notes. Up, down, up, down, up. One and two and three and. Right? Straight eighth notes. Up, down, up, down. So if you do all three together slow, you get this. Down, 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 
down, first part, down, up, up, second part, up, down, up, down. Once you get it slow, then slowly bring it up to record tempo. It's always, you know, the one measure on each chord, but the E chord at the end is two measures. So you go through the strum pattern two times. Um, let me play it for you. It'll sound like this. I'll play through the progression one time. You can follow along. That's it. And then it just keeps repeating, 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 repeating. And if you're struggling with bar chords, you know, I feel you. It's one of the most challenging aspects of guitar. And I could really help you with that. So much about getting bar chords down and changing bar chords. It's about the technique and about all the little tricks and tips that'll really take the frustration out. I put a video together that'll really help you along your bar chord journey. Just click on that link in the YouTube description box below. I'll send you the video lesson, which has my essential fret hand bar chord technique tips. It's loaded with exercises. It's just a great video lesson. I paired it with my ebook, which has chord charts, more lessons, more exercises. It's a great one-two punch. I'll send it to you for free. Just click on that link below. And you could do things like, you know, at the beginning, maybe just, you know, if you want to just kind of say the word, you can just strum the chords one time, right? And then kind of break into the strum at the second time. Um, as far as ending the song, you know, when it gets to the very end, you could actually end on that E chord. It sounds pretty good. So like if you're playing it from that F. It's a really easy one to add to your song catalog. People love the song. Um, they'll start singing along. It'll be so much fun. Try it. Enjoy it and make it your own and have fun with it. And remember, subscribe to the channel. That really helps us to keep bringing the content. Also, you'll be alerted when we have new videos posted. Don't forget, click on that link below. I'll send you my free essential bar chord techniques, bar chord to open chord changing exercises video. It's a great video, really help you along your bar chord journey. I pair it with an ebook, just click below. And also if you get a second, you know, I just dropped a new record with my original band, Mind Cell. We're based out of San Diego here in Southern California. I think it's a slamming record. I'd really love for you to hear it. I think it's some of the best music I've ever written. It's streaming on all the digital platforms. I'll put links to that below, as well as you could buy the CD at CD Baby or download the record on Amazon. Um, check that out below and let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear your feedback and insights. Thank you so much for your support and for watching. So appreciated. Stay tuned. Got so much more content and killer lessons coming soon. Enjoy those guitars, have fun with it, and remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. Take care and rock on.